welcome everyone to our data science project which is customer lifetime value so we're going to identify the customer lifetime value in a or an insurance business to be more specific it's about uh, auto insurance there are some concepts that we need to understand before we jump into the project itself maybe you will want to ask me what is this customer lifetime value or in short, we call this one CLV. So CLV or customer lifetime value is a total worth to a business of a customer over the whole period of the relationship. Understandably, we have here two persons, the business or the company and the customer himself or herself. So over a period of time, the question is how much worth is the customer giving to the business? So it's very important to understand this kind of worth. It's because when the company has higher investments in comparison to the return it gets from a certain customer, then it's losing. And with that, the company may stop from the operation. So it's very important on the side of the company to understand, to identify this value that the customer gives to the business and why is that it's because it is always cheaper to keep existing customers than to acquire new ones just imagine the cost of advertisements just to acquire new customers so it's always better to keep new ones or it's always better to keep existing customers so we have this problem at hand which is our business problem an abc corporation or insurance corporation has a problem in retaining its customers and it wants to advertise promotional offers to its local or to its loyal customers. So for this purpose, it is considering the use of CLV. It's a well-known fact that in insurance industry, the market is really very competitive. And that's why companies, insurance companies, really have to think of strategies on how to acquire and retain customers so in understanding the customer decision in getting an insurance so insurance premium is not always the determining or the only determining factor for a customer to get a contract so there are things to also consider for example we have the age of a certain customer the location of a customer and also his history or for example, having accidents in the previous years. So that's these things are very important. What's the objective of the problem? We would like to accurately predict the customer lifetime value in this auto insurance company, which is an ABC Insurance Corporation. So CLV is a very important metric to use for this business problem. It's because it's a customer-centric metric and there are three things that we need to understand always why we use CLV. The first one is that retaining customer is always cheaper as what we have mentioned. And the use of CLV may increase the revenue from less valuable customers. So of course, here in our process of um, doing the project, we would be able to identify who the less valuable customers are. And of course, on the side of the customer they can enjoy the customer experience because through this, the company would be able to improve the customer experience. What is our data set? This is the data that we're going to work on. And it's always very important to have an overview of what your data is all about. We will be able to identify um, the nature of each feature in our data set. So before you go to the analysis of your data, it's always very important to understand the features of your data set because this will lead you to understanding more on what kind of analysis, especially the exploratory data analysis that you're going to employ for the data set before you go to the implementation of any algorithm that you're going to use for the project. We're going to have them one by one. First of all, we have here the customer. So it is just the customer ID. Then this is the state, which are the places 
we are the customer slave. And the customer lifetime value identified so far and the response of the customers, whether or not they're going to get another insurance policy contract and what's the coverage so we have it, it could be basic it could be extended premium or whatever the company has then the education of the customers then the effectivity date of the policy insurance policy the employment status whether or not the customer is employed or unemployed then the gender of course the, the income then the location code does a customer live in a suburban or rural area or urban area in the marital status marriage or single but then what's the monthly uh, premium auto of the policy um, procured by the client then the month since last claim so when was the last time the client claimed his insurance policy and then we have the month since policy inception so inception means the date at which insurance coverage starts so when was that so maybe you would have some confusion when it comes to this one. So this is actually the previous insurance policy that the client procured. And this is now the present insurance policy. So the, the, the present insurance policy started five months ago. Then we have the number of open complaints. So far, there is none yet for the first customer. And then we have the number of policies so far. He has just only one policy. And then we have the policy type. Uh, is it a corporate auto or personal? Then the policy. So we have here a lot of kinds of policies of the ABC company. We have corporate L3, personal L3, the corporate L2, and many more. Then we have the renew offer type. So the we have offer one, offer two, offer three. Then we have sales channel, so agent or call center, so through which the client has procured his insurance policy. Then we have the total claim amount. Then we have the vehicle class and we have the vehicle size. So again, it's always very important to understand the different features of our data set so that we would be able to have the better understanding of what kind of analysis we're going to use, what features we're going to use for our analysis and eventually for our uh, modeling. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.